Okay, so here's a common pulley problem here. It's a pretty standard 2D statics problem. We can use our concurrent force formulation of statics to solve it. And what we have is a 5 kilogram mass hanging from a, a uh, cord that goes through A, B, and C. And um, we need to determine the force in cord A, B, C. So the first thing I see when I look at this is, is guess. What do I think the answer is going to look like? So my first thought is, well, I'm guessing if I was to hang a pulley on a cable, it would find equilibrium in the middle. So my guess is that the pulley will find equilibrium right in the middle. So we'll get a, we'll get a triangle. Um, and so in order to solve this, I'm going to use my, my approach here, is to use my equations of equilibrium some of the forces in the x-direction equal zero and some of the forces in the y-direction equal zero. And that will give me uh, the ability to solve for two unknowns. Okay, But right now, there's a lot of things I don't know. I don't know the angle here. Let's call this alpha, uh, theta c. I don't know the angle over here, theta a. I don't know the force in a, b. I don't know the force in b, c. So I kind of have four unknowns here. So what I'm going to do is start writing down equations that I can figure out and hopefully come up with enough equations to cover all my un unknowns. So let's start out, as always, with a free body diagram. Let's start at point B. So we have point B, and we like to idealize the pulley as having the forces all coming out of the center of it. So I have a force BC, F, BC, going off at angle theta C. I have another force, F, B, A, and it goes off at a different angle, maybe. I don't know right now, so I'm going to call it a, a, an independent angle. So if I look at this right now, I see that I have um, equations are over here, and unknowns are over here. So my, f and if I go back to finish my free body diagram, I have a weight going down here. W equals 5 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. And that gives me 49 kilonewtons. So let's start to write down our knowns and unknowns. We don't know F B A. There's number one. Second thing we don't know is F B C third thing we don't know is theta A, and the fourth thing we don't know is theta B. But we do have equations of equilibrium, so let's start them out here. Some of the forces in the x direction equal zero to the right being positive, so we get, we get F B A, negative direction, times the cosine of theta A, plus F BC times the cosine of theta C. So there's one equation. Second equation we get is going to be some of the forces in the y direction up being positive. So we get FBA sine theta A plus FBC sine of theta c minus w, and that all equals zero. So there's our second equation. So at this point, two equations, four unknowns, I can't solve it. So how do we get another equation? Well, third equation we get here is by realizing that we have a pulley. And a pulley tells us that the, that the cable um, going through ac and ab uh, has to have the same tension on both sides. So F um, B A has to equal F B C. So I have three equations and four unknowns. So I still can't solve it. So what else can I do here? So a lot of times when we don't have enough equations, we start to look at the geometry. You'll notice I haven't used the, f the, the 0 0.4 meters yet. So we have 
this distance and we have and we have the 0 0.15 meters and we haven't used either of those yet and so let's see if we can come up with something from geometry well we know if I take a point D put it right up here I have a distance DC right here and I have a distance AD and I have another triangle DB so we can say a few things about this with the point 4 etc and let's see if we can do that without adding too many unknowns and getting something that will help us with our with our angles so let's try this how about the tangent of um, theta c has to equal 0 0.15 divided by dc so there's a fourth equation of course that added a fifth unknown which is distance dc and tangent of theta a is 0 0.15 over ad that gives us a fifth equation but it gives us a sixth unknown ad so we're still still out of luck so let's look for another relationship from the geometry how about ad plus ac has to equal 0 0.4 meters there's a sixth equation and six unknowns. So at this point, I know I can solve the system of equations. I have six unknowns and six equations, at, and it just becomes a matter of of algebra. So let's let's walk through this here. Let's take our our first equation up here, um, this one here, and let's look at that. And it looks like it's got four unknowns, so probably don't want to go there. So let's see if we can if we can simplify something here. How about if we take our third equation right here and we use that to start to simplify. This is a BA there, so you can read it, BA. Let's use that to start to simplify this first equation up there. So we're going to rewrite numbers 1 and 3, substituting 3 in for 1, and we get um, 0 equals minus FBA cosine of theta A plus FBA cosine of theta C and at this point we could just substitute in we could just say that FBA equals FBC equals just some F okay so they're just one number so I'll go ahead and make that substitution and simplify the equation I have down here this gives me F cosine of theta A equals F cosine of theta C divide both sides by F and what I get is cosine of theta A equals cosine of theta C if I take the inverse cosine of those I get theta A equals theta C equals theta so I've simplified my life a little bit by getting this down to a single um, these two are equal to each other, these are equal to theta, these two are equal to each other, and they equal some force F. And if I plug that back in to equation 2, if I look at equation 2 now, and using those two substitutions, what I get is F sine of theta plus F sine of theta equals W. So I've taken this equation here and moved W over to the other side. Okay. So this is 2F sine of theta equals W. Okay, so in good shape. We know W. W is equal to 49 kilonewtons. Okay. And um, what else do we know here? If we know we don't know F which is what we're looking for, and we don't know theta. But if we go back to our geometry, our geometry, because we found theta C and theta A were the same, point D is exactly 0.2 meters. It's halfway. If those are the same angles, if these two are the same angles, then D is halfway. So 0.2 meters from point C. 
point B down here is there. This is 0 0.15, and this is our angle theta. So this is 0 0.15 as well. So we know that tangent of theta equals 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.20. So theta equals tangent negative 1. These are both meters of 0 0.15 meters over 0 0.20 meters. And that gives us an angle of 36.87 degrees. I can plug that back into the previous equation here and solve for F. And I get F equals 49 kilonewtons divided by 2 sine of 36.8 seven degrees F equals forty point eight three kilonewtons. So what we've done here is we've solved for F. Again F is the same as F A B which is the same as F B C which is the force in the cord. It's a common force. Now we ask ourselves does it make sense? My entire weight is forty nine kilonewtons each cable has 40 kilonewtons, 40, almost 41 kilonewtons. Because of the shallow angle, it makes sense that, that it should be quite a bit higher when I add two of them, and so I feel pretty good about my answer.